Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. If you new, I'm Whiska N. If not, welcome back, family. My video will be about blanket transformation. And I want to show you guys that it's so easy to make anything out of a blanket. So transforming two blanket was not the plan, honestly. I wanted my bottom to match my top. But when I went back to the store, it was sold out. So I got another blanket and I made it work. Also, I made a scrunchie. And if you guys want to see how I made a two set and a scrunchie, please keep watching. Hey guys, so the first thing you want to do is fold the blanket in half. And then I just got a random sweater, a pretty little thing sweater, and I put it right on top of the blanket. And I fold the shoulders in so we could cut out the sweater and the sweater is a little short and I don't want the crop top so I just push the sweater on on front a little so I could like cut these out so it won't really be a crop top when it's time to sew the sweater together so yeah so I added lines so I know where exactly to cut the blanket and also, I will add an inch for seam allowance. So make sure y'all add an inch for seam allowance. Now for the shoulders. I just put sweater sleeves right on top of the blanket. I also bobby pin the sweater so it won't move around when I cut it. And we just gonna cut out the sweater guys, okay? So when you cut it out, it should look like this. Cut out, I just put it right on top of the blanket again and we are gonna cut it out to make another sleeve. Add pockets to my sweater so I'ma just cut the pointy part off and cut this off and that will be my pocket. So I'ma show you guys how my pocket gonna look. So this how my pocket will look. All you guys have to do is just sew this part so the pocket could connect. So I got a pair of jean shorts. I'm gonna lay it right on top of the blanket and I will just cut it out. And I will add extra seam allowance. Cut the shorts, guys. It will look like this. This is my back part. I will do it again for my front part. So for the front part, I just lay the back part right on top of the blanket, and I will just cut it out the exact size so it could duplicate. So now we finished cutting out the shorts. Now it's time to sew them. So when you sew them, you will sew the inner part of the short. So you will sew just this side. Okay, guys, I pin it. You will just sew this side. So after you sew the middle part, guys, now it's time to sew the sides. As 
So I sew this part. I hem the edges. Now I just gotta add the elastic band and then we're all done, guys. Okay, so after you fold them and pin them, now it's time to top stitch them, okay? And make sure y'all use the zigzag snitch. Okay, guys, so it's time to make the pockets for the sweaters. And what I did was, um, since the sweater is in half, I just fold it in half. And I'm going to sew this part so I could get the whole thing. After I sew the pocket together, I just put the pocket right on top of the front of my sweater and I just pin it and we just gonna sew this part, this part, this part, and this part right here. We're gonna leave the side After open. You cut out the sleeves, it should look like this, guys. I flipped them over and now it's ready to be sewn. So when you sew it, make sure you sew this part. Don't sew don't sew in the hand part. Sew this part and leave this part open so when we connect to the sweater part. So I sew both of the sleeves together. Now it's time to flip the shirt inside out and start sewing these as okay, well. Okay, guys. So when you sew the sweater, make sure you sew the sides. Don't sew the shoulder part. This part, don't show the head part. This part, don't sew the shoulder and the sides. Okay? All right, guys. We almost there. We almost there. I can't wait for our final result. So now we are attaching the shoulders to the sweater. And how I'm doing it is I'm just pressing them together and pinning them so i make sure i line this part right here the side of the sweater and lining this part the front to the shoulder of the sweater just make sure it match and it's connecting and then i just pinch to the side use the pins pinch pin pinch pin okay guys so this is my final result and I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Ooh, this is my first time making a sweater and short. So I think it came out pretty good. Okay, guys. So it's time to make the scrunchie. What I did was I measured this, the height. And it's four and a half. And the width will be like 22 inches. And this should be enough for two scrunchies. So I'm gonna cut this piece in half. And this was measured one inch. And then I pin it. And I also did it on that side, this side, and that. That means that we will start after the one inch when we are sewing. So make sure y'all leave this extra part out. I turn the fabric inside out just because it's like a teddy bear fabric. So like when you stitch it, like you really can't see where the stitch is at. Connect these and sew the side part. So this is how it should look. I pin it so it could be easier for me. So the sides, flip them inside out and that's how it should look guys. Got our elastic band and our pin, and now we just gotta find the open hole 
and we will put this in there around and then take it out. Pull, pull the top, pull again, and then I just hide it. Suck it in, hide it, and then this should look like this. And then sew this part closed, and that's your scrunchie, y'all. I will be making a lot of DUIs that is like very unique, cute, sexy, and creative, and you guys do not want to miss it. So make sure y'all click on the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching my video to the end. It means so much in the world that you guys are like watching me and supporting me so thank you guys if you haven't please click on the subscribe button don't forget to like and comment this video see you guys again bye